time to get into Google Spreadsheets. I have a feeling a lot of us have heard of Spreadsheets. We know it's a good place to organize stuff and it's for those numbers people who wanna spend lots of time with numbers organizing, stuff like that. Um, and probably most of us have used them, but there's a good chance we haven't used them to their full capability. Once you see some of the awesome things you can do with spreadsheets, you might find yourself using them a bit more. So just like with documents, I'm gonna start with a list. This is Google's list of ideas, you know, ways teachers can use spreadsheets in the classroom, so seating charts, grades, attendance, um, just a database of contact info. Could you store those in spreadsheets instead of having that extra piece of paper in your desk somewhere? And then a couple ways for students to use them. You can see, <clears throat> go find a bunch, put it all there. So you can see, obviously, a good way to organize a whole bunch of data. This <clears throat> last slide here, <clears throat> excuse me, this last slide is, again, some of you may not even care about these things, but I thought I'd show you some of the limits right now on Google Spreadsheet. Take a look. <clears throat> so with that said, let's get into it here. All right, so we create a spreadsheet the same way we create a document. I go into Create Spreadsheet, and this will give me my new untitled spreadsheet. We're going to call this Spreadsheet Practice 1. Always good habit to get into uh, renaming things right away. All right, so we have this whole you know, giant sheet, lots and lots of cells to work in. Okay. Now to edit a cell, I can either start typing. I can also hit Enter, which will get me into this cell. I'm gonna add a little extra here. I know sometimes where I want a, a new line, I wanna hit enter, so I start, you know, I'm going and I wanna hit enter to stay in that cell and, and go down, but it, it, what happens is if I hit enter, it goes into the next cell. So a quick little side tip is if I hold control while I hit enter, you know, then I can get a new line within a cell all within that cell. So that's, I think, pretty useful. All right, undo a bit here. So next I'd just like to, we're gonna go through some of the basic formatting. Well, let's take a look here. A lot of this is gonna look the same as documents. You can check out, I think the second video in documents maybe goes through these. Um, bold, italic, strike through, some colors. We'll, we'll get to more of those later. The one I wanna uh, look at right now is formatting. So they, they give you some default formats you can use, um, including currency. So, you know, let's say I'm gonna do a budget here, and this is gonna be my groceries, um, my gas, my uh, cable bill. So I can do all those, and maybe groceries that month came out to, you know, $213.43, and then gas came out to an even 50 and then cable was my normal whatever fifty dollars let's go fifty three dollars um, and sometimes i want this to all look like money so what i can do is click this whole column and i can format that into money which will give me the dollar sign and it'll add cents onto here the other way you'll see that's um you know may end up being goofy is if I do 53.1, let's say this column isn't formatted as money, we'll just put it as normal. If I do $53.10, it's gonna be this 0.1, which looks a little goofy, which is why money is sometimes easier. Percent, they give you that option as a default. A lot of spreadsheets deal with percentages, so that, you know, that's an option. But then you can look at all the other ones they have. Um, just take a look through those, you're gonna see each one has its you know, use in different uh, settings and different spreadsheets. Dates, I know, can get really annoying, so here you can, you can do those as well. And if none of these seems to be working, or it seems to keep trying to default it into a certain type, so even like, um, maybe I just need to put 12, you know, something like 12 slash 24 to represent um, two numbers, and I hit enter and it's gonna to wanna to keep turning it into a date. What I can do is make that um, plain text right here. And then once I do 12, 24, it's gonna leave it as, um, it won't try to switch it, default it to a date. So cell types, 
you'll probably use if it's trying to format it one way and you actually want to keep it another way or you just want them to all look uniform as you do it okay um, copy and paste we talked about in documents same here control C control V but spreadsheets adds an additional paste something called paste special okay so if I copy these three uh, values those three cells and I right click on a different cell you're gonna see this paste special this can be useful when we get to formulas which we'll talk about later but what I can do is just paste the formula so if I don't want specific values but I want the formula to apply I can do that the other side of it is if I have a whole list of a whole bunch of um, sums maybe at the bottom of a, a spreadsheet and I do just copy paste it's gonna actually paste um, the formulas but in fact I might just want the values and in that case I can do just the values so keep that in mind and it, it, it'll probably make a little more sense as we get into conditional formatting and data validation but spreadsheets gives us an additional paste option okay now the last thing for this video I just like to talk about is hyperlinks so in documents we could just paste it or remember there was that little chain link in the um, in the formatting bar here we don't have a chain link in spreadsheets so we actually do have to use a certain syntax so maybe I'm sending students in to get information on planets lewd planets again so Jupiter Mars Earth and in this column I want hyperlinks to um, to the actual uh, site where I want them to go find information because then this is going to be like radius of the planet and distance from Earth. So I'm going to do the have them find that information. So once again, let's search NASA Jupiter and I can go here and let's say I want this URL in my spreadsheet. Well, if I paste it next to Jupiter here, you can see Google um, will will auto hyperlink it and that's a good thing but remember this is um, a way to clean it up is to use the link and since I don't have a, a link option in my formatting toolbar there's some syntax we need to use and that syntax is equals hyperlink and you can see they even start to show us what we need to do so hyperlink and I do a parenthesis there and I do quotes I paste the URL quotes comma and then what I want it to say, so NASA page, and then the other hypothesis there. And when I hit enter, it says not NASA page very nicely. And now I can go to it. So if you wanna you know, use that clean it up format, within spreadsheets, you have to use that syntax, which again was equals, you can see it up here, equals hyperlink, you gotta do, do quotes, the actual URL, quote end quote comma and then what you want it to say within quotes all right we're just scratching the surface of spreadsheets we're gonna learn a whole bunch more in the next videos